teen. You're a teen? Can I say? Okay, you're not a teen. I look like it. You think you think you look like a teen? On this. You think you look thirteen? Look at this. Well, Dad wonders why you part your hair in the middle. He says you should pull it all over to one side. Cause it's high. Okay. <laughs> you know who Jimmy Butler is? You know who? Wait. wait. No. Oh, wait. Hello. Picture of you know Jimmy Butler. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone. Happy Monday. There is no school tomorrow. Oh, they're saying I look like that when I have a. Who said that? Kids mm -hmm. at school? Yes. Oh, my new kids. Hello! Do I actually look like that? No. I know. You really think I look like that? Uh-uh. Yeah. I think you... I like when you pull it over. So can we no! Don't even touch it! Okay. I will scream. <laughs> it is Monday. It is actually um, no school tomorrow. Daylight savings, baby. So Sawyer is sleepover. Okay, a sleep, he's having a sleepover. Dude, get this little middle part out. His buddy. This camera is tripping me out. Okay, stop talking. Oh my His buddy is spending the night, but he's not coming till nine because he has Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. So. Dude, help me. So Sawyer has been doing chores tonight to earn his sleepover. I don't think he's successfully completed any of them. You know me. What did we ask? To a vacuum. Every time we ask Sawyer to do a chore, he tells us how someone else made the mess. And, Harbor, which Harbor. I respond with, I clean up messes all day long. Who's the messiest person in the house? Harbor. Harbor's the messiest person in the house. Yeah. And I had to share a room with him. Well, we're like gonna, scary. We're going to kick him out with Winnie once we get the bed situated. Bridget, I don't like Sawyer. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I'm, we I'm love a, Bridget. I'm, I'm a new, Apparently, we're done. I'm a new man. Okay, so we're not soy anymore. What are we now? Sauce. Saucy, hot sauce. I'm doing good. Okay, you're gonna look back on this and die laughing. Someday, I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, sit back up with me, please. I, this camera's like tripped me out. Okay, I don't know what that means. Okay, what is your name? Like your real name. What's your oh, real name? Sawyer Jamie Swenson. Okay, and how old are you? Almost. No, how old are you now? Today, at this time? 11. 12, my bad. Nothing. Almost 11. Nope. Mm -mm. How old Literally are you? Literally a month and a half. How old are you right now? 10. A month and a half and then I'm 11. Yes. So Sawyer has always wanted to be older. The second, the, so every year, the day the grade ends, he comes home and he says, I'm 11. I'm in the next grade. The day after his birthday, he's already the next age. Um, what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Okay. Um, what else should we ask you? There's nothing else about me. Oh! There's literally, like, everything. Stories, sports, what I like to do, pet peeves. Pet peeves. First, Sawyer, what sports do you play? Hockey, baseball, maybe basketball. Well, you are signed up for basketball, also. So, you know you put on the student thing, you put Kate Swenson, 40 years old, and everybody saw that. For the roster? Yep. <laughs> I signed myself. How do you know that? Who told you that? <laughs> like, five people told me that, because I saw it. Well, it was supposed to be you. <laughs> but it was Kate Swenson, age 40. Oh, sorry. My jersey's going to be Kate Swenson. Age 40. <laughs> Um, well, okay, I guess I signed up for basketball, everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm playing fifth grade basketball. Oh. Jamie, did you hear what I did? No. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> when I signed him up, I <laughs> must have messed up. For the student and I players, my... you Kate Swenson, Kate Swenson, age 40. And everyone and saw it. That's permanent. And I actually saw that when I was doing you it. You didn't sign up for basketball, did you? You're missing the... Your dad, he misses everything, Dude, we, everything like, we ever say. Dude, get a life! Okay, calm down, Southern Belder. I'm not okay, right. um, what position do you play in hockey? Uh, defense. What side? Left. Nope. Right? Right, yes. So, you're, so are no, you... No, I'm playing East Defense. Talk about drama queen. Sit down, Sawyer, <laughs> and... Take a deep breath. 
Ah, we love our mom. Oh, actually, everyone look at the, I ain't touch it. Look at the photo on Sawyer. Stop that, Sawyer. Sawyer, Sawyer. Ah. Sawyer, look at the photo on Sawyer's. This is Sawyer's phone. I put my photo on it. <laughs> Kate Swenson, age 40. <laughs> Still can hear baseball. I hit better than you. Every time we went to the batting cage, Wait, I, I hit better than you. You've never hit in the batting cage. Mm, I hit nukes. Okay. Um, let's back it up now. Okay, and then... Do um, pet peeves my hobby. We will, we will. Let's talk about baseball. What do you play? What position do you play in baseball? Uh, catcher, pitcher, first baseman. What's your favorite sport? Uh, I gotta go hockey and baseball are tied. Yeah. I will tell you, it's really fun to watch baseball. It's fun to watch hockey, but it's really fun to watch baseball. Sawyer's an excellent hitter. <clears throat> very, very good hitter. And she's already saying she's like, good. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Stop that. Okay. Um... What are your favorite hobbies? Uh, hockey and baseball. Okay, that's the same question. You like to play Fortnite. Yeah. You like to play with your siblings. What? You like to rollerblade oh, with you your You like dog. the hair toss? Yeah. Okay, what are your pet peeves? Mom, Dad, Cooper, Harbor. Winnie? No, oh, Winnie's perfect. So... Who's your favorite sibling, obviously? Winnie. Winnie. Thank you, Jessica. Winnie. You donated 99 cents. I've never seen that. Thank you, Jessica. Sawyer, do you play Roblox? Roblox? He used to. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> yeah, right. So my, my... Uh, fun fact about Sawyer, we were at the batting cage a while back, and he hit the ball so hard that it broke his bat, mm. and they even knew him coming to the mail. Yeah, it's supposed to come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that was pretty cool. How was that cool? You broke a bat. Okay, stop. How was that cool? Okay, stop, Mr. Here. Okay. I'm going to get a um, got it out my Why is story. Winnie your favorite sibling? Because she can't really say anything mean yet. And she doesn't hurt you. I have never. Harbor thinks that you <laughs> are the king of the world. I've never met anyone that loves anyone more than the way Harbor, Harbor loves Harbor does Sawyer. love me, but he takes it too far sometimes. Um, someone said, hold on, um, what is your favorite football team? Oh, good question. What's your favorite football team? Green Bay Packers and the Dolphins. Yeah, and Dad likes? Vikings. And who does Mom like? Uh, Dolphins. Sawyer. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I came out. Favorite hockey team, Minnesota Wild. A uh, favorite uh, movie? Are you from Australia, Sarah Pike? Dang, nice cat. Get back up here. Um, okay. Sorry, please see your face. It means you're strong? What means you're strong? Is that the Barbie logo? Can you back up, please? All I can see is your hair. I'm not really um, that sweet, bro. Max, my son, wants to know if you've ever oh, played Eagles the new... Oh, Eagles you, are like the best team, but they're not my favorite. Have you played the new season of Fortnite? Yeah, I'm level 40. I'm only like 46 levels. It's pretty boring. <laughs> Everybody, okay, Max, my son, wants to know if you play Fortnite. Who's your favorite baseball player? Favorite baseball player? Wait. Do you have a favorite baseball player? Wait. When did you watch your podcast? Um, who's your favorite baseball player? Um, either Tatis or Jorge Blanco. I see the first pitch standing next to him. Are you talking about the Saints? Yeah, Jorge Blanco used to play in the Saints. Now he's in the big leagues. Gotta really stay up to date, Mom. Jeez. Um, look at it. Cool. That's not a problem on my face. I have nothing on my face. Yes, it is. I have literally nothing on my face. Look at that. Um, mm -hmm. Sauce, okay. do you have a girlfriend? Nope. Rice nope. Harper and Alec Mom. What's oh, your Phillies? The Phillies are my second favorite. What's your favorite? Um, Debbie, Debbie Stewart. Uh, please stop. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite fa Facebook? Mom. Okay. Take a deep breath. This is where you get worked up. You get all nuts so on the comments. Okay, now sit down. I'm not that cute. Mm. Okay, back up. Back up, back up. Uh, probably. Okay, we're, like, I'm going to stop it if you don't <laughs> calm down. Um, probably when she comes take away my phone. I'm too what tired. What did someone ask you? What's your favorite thing about your mom? Oh, what is your favorite thing about your mom? Sawyer holds my hands when we walk to the bus in the morning. Because she makes me walk on my freezing cold. Yes, the pure torture. Dude, I wish we lived in Texas. So, um, I, I never wanted to see that picture up there. You haven't even changed it yet? I'm going to change it now. This That's whole literally a buzz cut. Okay, Sawyer, <laughs> what's your favorite subject at school? Math. Good question. Yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. 
what are your projects that you have this year? Because every year at his school, there's Max different projects. Museum, Charlie Brown play. Oh! So you're going to be in a play, and you find out Friday what your part is. Yeah. Do you have any idea? Do you have to try out? No. We just watch the movie and we pick what we want. What did you pick? Uh, we... What did, what did you pick? It's, it's Monday. I know, but it's it, Monday. Wow. No, I'm saying. We watch the movie on Does Friday. the teacher? Oh, okay. Yeah, you like put down your favorites. Uh, Schroeder, Linus, and then my little boo Banky. And then I you got would be Woodstock. The cutest Linus. My little boo Banky. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a. Every kid's dream an MLB player or an NHL player. Or I'm just going to go. Full construction worker, concrete layer. So you're telling me that your aspirations are NHL and Major League Baseball? And then concrete worker. There's like, good money in that. I know, the thing there is, is. The hard part about that is it's hard on your body. and you It's, it's hard. It's but it's good to work it. It's not my fault you have to go through that in your teen years. <laughs> hey, okay, I don't even know if I got that joke, but I don't like it. Um, I said that I think Sawyer should be a special education teacher. I think he'd be the best teacher. I'll teach spot fifth, sixth grade. Yeah. You'd be a gym teacher. Mm, that dad doesn't play too good. Oh. Okay, so calm down now. Okay, can I ask you some more questions? Hmm. Tell me something that you love about each of your siblings. Cooper. He was a heater. <laughs> Yeah. And then Harbor Pass, Winnie, she's really nice, and she's got white hair. You have to say something about Harbor. Harbor's fun. He's always up for anything. I don't think I'll pass on Harbor. Say something that you love or you like about your mom and dad. Um, dad, whenever I go to stores and you let me get like toys, but whenever I go to a sports store. He asked me to get, like, a sports-related thing. He does, yeah. <laughs> and what about me? Pass. Mm. Fine. Um, mm, 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 I'm going to bury you in the basement. She goes to the movies with me. Scary movies with me. What scary movie do we see? Okay. The one we went at Harper 2, that Disney one? Megan. <laughs> Megan. Oh, and yeah. Megan, that chainsaw scene where she cuts the girl's head off. And then Cocaine Bear is really good. Coke Bear. Okay, Sawyer. Coke, um, cookie Bear. Okay. Um. Oh, thank you. So, can I tell you something I love about you? Where's PA? Pennsylvania. Oh. Can I tell you something I love about you? Make water got hot. Mm-hmm. I think that you are very, very yeah, nice. nice. Oh. Like, you are so nice to people. Mm. Aren't you? Are you nice people at school? Mm. Well, there's just one kid named Andrew. Sawyer! No, um, the, I'm nice to If him. you say anything right now that... So, so, Sawyer, nope, 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 um, nope. He's really nice, though. He go, he makes good parfudges. What's a parfudge? Uh, a parfudge? You don't... Okay, tell her where a parfudge is right now, somebody. Come on, just tell her where it is. Please, I don't think anyone. Please tell her what a parfudge is. What is it? This tell her. I'm gonna Google it. No. What is it? The pictures are really cool, though. Is it a drawing? Mm -mm. Siri, pictures of parfudges. No, that's like. (laughs) Miss America. Pictures of parfudges from the Sioux. I think you need to really Google this, honey. E, I don't know. Uh, what's Bing? Parfaits? No, parfletches. They're from the Native Americans, the Sioux. That means snake. And so it's, it's snakes? It's, no, the Sioux, they have parfletches for carrying things on long road trips. Oh, a par, is that how you, are we saying it right? A parfletch. I have to make that. I'm already done with it. Are you making these for school? Yes, I'm done with it. Oh, and he made a buffalo hide. Yes, a buffalo hide. They use their bladders for water bottles. Have you read um, Little House on the Prairie in school? Yes, we've watched it too. Oh, it's so good. We should read that together every night. You know Nora? And hold Wait. hands. Yeah, do you know the movie where Nora falls in the, in the grass every scene? Every, every it's not scene. Nora. Yeah, it is. It's, it's like, Nellie. No, it's not. Dee. 
I don't know if we're saying it right though. It's a power fudge. This is this kid makes these at home, like, a, or do you make these at school? My at for you. school. It's a good learning experience. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Takes too much time. I people that. know. People know what you're talking about. Yeah. Why? He do. Okay, can I ask you some more serious questions? Sure. Um. Has anyone ever asked you about your brother's autism? Yep. What did they say? Mm, at school. How, how did any of the kids there know him? Oh, and so what do you say? I just say he's autism. Mm hmm Yep. And do you explain how he just thinks differently? He can talk. Yeah. Yep. But That's he's all I say, and then I walk away. But some people just probably genuinely... Um, genuinely, people probably want to bully me about that. Do you think that's really true? Yes, that's what my school is. Bullies? Yes, at my lunch table. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, kind of. Oh, I think that you are really good at explaining it. Like, you're good at talking about it. And when we're out in the community, you're always really brave. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Why can't I ever give you compliments? Next question. Um, do you remember that when... The first time you held Harbor, you cried? <laughs> yeah, he was on the doorstep when I came home from school. <laughs> that was Winnie. <laughs> no, it was at the old, old house. That was Winnie. We at, lived there for both of them. At the doorstep? We, you were running that up, you me. ran up the steps, and Winnie was in her car, so we had just got home. At the, yeah, she was on the doorstep. You got to come to the hospital to see. Harbor. And you're eating five guys like a normal lady. I had gestational diabetes, so I managed it with diet, and I couldn't <laughs> okay. have carbs. No, no, no. So she I said, managed it with five guys. Two takeout orders, one hour. So the second I had that baby, I sent my husband to five guys, <laughs> and I made him get burgers and fries. <laughs> and I'm like, take the baby! <laughs> like, uh -huh. she wasn't even holding him. She was sitting in her hospital bed, okay. eating five guys, two burgers down, second pack of fries, you are third milkshake. You are such a liar. Five guys milkshakes are so You are just a really sweet boy. Can you sit down, please? See, por favor. Sit down. Um, someone says, what is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Mine's Easter. Because Christmas is right after my birthday. Before oh. your birthday. Um, what did you think about the book that I wrote? Uh, that won't let me read it. Well, are you excited about it? There's a lot of it about you in there. I don't want any hard feelings for it right now. Why are you not excited about it? Well, because Dad won't let me read it. Well, don't you think it's even a little bit for, it's even, for grown-ups? Even though I don't like reading, but yeah. Well, a lot of it's about Sawyer and Cooper. Can you come back over here on camera, please? No, you're not. Um, what do you want to do for your birthday? Paintball. Really? Yeah. Can you do paintball? Yeah, it's 10, Mom. I've got a pelt in my butt. <laughs> it's going to be like... Um, oh, Mom, i got to go quick. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, great. I'm sorry. No, sorry. Don't do it right there. Cover the camera's ears. I can't cover the camera's ears. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Sawyer's heard the letter that I wrote in there. I read that to him. The yeah, letter that I wrote? I like the golf course. Yeah, at, the, at my book launch. I read the letter to him. He, of course, cried. Because Sawyer is a... Get my straw out of your <laughs> nose! Oh. I was drinking in my nose. You're so gross. <gasps> no, I can't drink that. I'll drink it. Sorry, where do you want to go on a vacation? Bahamas. Bahamas. You're gonna... I'm gonna... Remember this, everybody. When Sawyer if turns you 18, my, if you give me a car, yeah. I'll when Sawyer turns 18, I'm gonna bring him anywhere he wants to go. Mm -hmm. Just I'm, me and him. I'm going to the moon. Want to the moon? Well, I can't bring you to the moon. I'm only going but to if you want to go to Hawaii, I'm going to Beijing, China. Beijing. China. Our neighbor, the one that at the bus stop, she's going to Japan next week. Yeah, I know. I'm going to Beijing, China. Beijing, China. Why? Why are you talking like that? Stop talking I'm like that. Deco. Beijing, China. Okay, go away. I'm done. Beijing, China. I'm done. Beijing, China. Um. Go! I'm done with you. What? Because you're being obnoxious. Oh. I got a tetanus shot today. Like, 
she's like. And I had to have a blood draw. She's and I have so a bruise. Creepy. I had a physical Where? today. It's right there. My cholesterol is fantastic. My doctor just messaged me. She said my cholesterol is fantastic. But I'm nervous. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous about aging. You're actually like not even aging at all. Do you remember how all your parents... Your parents always seemed old, like no matter what. Yeah, she's like 90. Do you think that I seem old? I think I'm young and energetic. She can't hit a baseball. I Marty, can I hit hate, better than you. I, I am an athlete. I hate swamp donkeys and you, Doug. Stop. Stop the, mic. the one thing I can't do is play hockey because I can't skate. <laughs> I cannot skate. <laughs> I don't know how he skates so good. He's like so fast. He's just... So good. He makes it look so easy. So slow. Okay, so we watched our favorite hockey movie. It's called Mystery Alaska. And what it is the so there was this part where the dad is mean to his son what? and the judge. And he says it and both oh. of us burst out laughing. Oh. Both of us burst so out thought, laughing. And we turned to Jamie and we're like, Oh my gosh, that's you. I remember one time. You think you're a big deal because you scored two goals? He's what does he say? He's like, You're a figure skater. And what does he say about a zone? You dance on the ice. You dance like a figure skater. You zone in your own area of the ice. <laughs> and both of us, so the dad's like criticizing the son. We and point to my... Like, Sawyer and I look at each other and we both point to Jamie and we burst out laughing. Jamie's so mean, isn't he? You think you're a big deal because you scored two goals? You skate like a figure skater. You're coasting your own zone. <laughs> I have to get a t-shirt made. Don't do that there. Sorry, don't do that. I have to get a t-shirt made that says that. What? Well, you're the definition of coasting. You're the definition of... Nope. Okay. Mm. Sawyer is a phenomenal hockey uh, player. A boot A boot Yeah. But have you ever seen Mighty Ducks? We invented Mighty Ducks. We're from Minnesota. What's, We're, a, what's a Mighty Ducks? The Mighty Ducks. Wait, what happened? Is that money? You made a tarot diamond. Okay, go away. You made a tarot diamond. I'm done. I'm done with you now. I can only. No, mom. Why are you? Going Technically, it's eight. If it was, if it was two days ago, it'd be eight o'clock. I'm no, done with you. Money. Honey, I'm gonna just tell them about Cooper or okay. Cooper's occupational therapy. Okay. And then, do you need me? I know. But why don't I... you get in the shower? I just showered. Let me smell your hair. You did not. Yes, I did. You when see, do kids want to shower? See, my hair looks this good on a daily basis. Let me smell your armpits. I can't do it. I'm <laughs> too afraid. Um, ah! I mean, I Did you can, shower? I mean, yes, um, I promise you. No. Why? I'm not giving you anything. I gave you life. I continue to and feed you. you're gonna give me this. I wash your clothes. Not even that good, guys. I... I am a phenomenal mother. I support you. Don't do that. I want to call me. No, no, sorry. Go now. Go away. I want, Let me finish I want to. No, sorry. Go away. Hey. I love you. You better see me in my room. Right You're my third or fourth favorite. Oh my god. You're my third or fourth favorite. You are horrible. <laughs> so this is all new. This like little teenage. He's listening to me right now. He thinks, yeah, he's we're entering this teenage stage, and it's quite funny. Um, I wanted to tell you guys about um, OT today. So um, I heard about, so a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I heard about this OT place, occupational therapy, and it's called Rainbow Tree Therapies, and it's a distance away. When I researched it, I fell in love with a woman, like the occupational therapist, like she had a video and she talked about how, um, she does all of her therapy outside. Like she wants, she talks about like the, the benefits of nature. And if you follow me at all closely, um, and Carrie, Carrie, Ella, my friend actually brought this up last night. It is so important to me to get my kids outside. I think the secret to parenting is to get your kids outside. I have always said that. 
So, I mean, I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm like, go outside. So, um, we did an evaluation. So the way OT works is like you did, you did an evaluation and he was a little challenging. Like one of the problems that we have, and it's a problem is that Cooper is so codependent on me. Um, that it's hard for him to learn from other people and to separate from me. And we know this, like this is a challenge, like I'm not gonna be here forever. I'm not going to be able to do stuff forever. So um, the evaluation was lovely, I mean, but a little challenging to be perfectly honest, but Cooper tried, like, so the whole thing is outside. She has like homemade slides and sand and um, ladders and swings and everything you could possibly imagine, a trampoline, like it's just in the woods, It's amazing so today it's like probably was probably like 40 today and today was the first our first session and so it's 30 minutes from our house and then Cooper was at school which is 15 minutes in the wrong direction so I had to like time the pickup and I messed up I thought it would take a lot longer than it did and one of the challenges that we have with our autism life is we can't just stop somewhere so like if I was 20 minutes early somewhere with Sawyer, we could run into Target. We could run into, run to a park. We could do, we could stop home for 20 minutes. But with Coops, he isn't able to do that. Not yet. So my GPS said I was going to be there like 25 minutes early. And I was like, son of a gun. So I stopped at a park and just parked in the parking lot until he got really anxious and I made a phone call for work and then we drove and then I stopped again. I got a McDonald's pop. It was the drive through He was very anxious at me and then stopped at like a church parking lot outside like, like five minutes from her house because I, I was like, I have to like time this right. And we got there. And Cooper refused to get out of the car. So she came out with her, her name is Lisa, and then she had a young lady, young woman helping her named Heather. And I had a hard time getting Cooper out of the car, which I expected. And then he like jumped into it. Like they went on the trampoline for probably 15 minutes. We set a timer. She said the sessions usually last about 50 minutes, 50. And I'm like, that's really long for Snoopy. I'm like, can we start with a timer for 20? I'm like, let's ease into it. And she's so great. We made it 44 minutes. And um, watching them play on the trampoline with him, like, my heart just burst. And, and here's the sentence that I will, I will share with you in full honesty. When you have a child who has a disability and also struggles with communication and anxiety, and understanding this world, I don't get to see a lot of joy. I don't. I, I don't get to see a lot of joy. So watching him jump on this trampoline and they were playing like, don't break the egg. And first he jumped, so this is jump. First he jumped 10 times, then she jumped, then 15 and then 20 and then he kept going and I had to like, I like wiped a tear from my eye watching. Then we went on, he fed the donkey and, hi Lisa, and the, um, thank you Donna, and the, um, they have donkeys and sheep, he fed them an apple. I'll share a video later. And then I tried to share one earlier, but it froze. It is on Instagram though, if you wanna see the video, it's really wonderful. It's on my Instagram page, Finding Cooper's Voice. And then, um, he did this rope swing, which was like so phenomenal. Um, she, or he, there's like this rope bridge, right? And he tried it last time and it made him very scared, but you could see his determination and they helped him on each side. And then when I share the video, the video is like two minutes long, but I'm only sharing like 30 minutes of this because um, it was, it, he froze at the end like he couldn't figure out how to take the step from it's, it's like from here to here and it just terrified him and they stood with him and they helped him through it and talked him through it and it's really powerful like to see him overcome his fear and then what else did they do 
Oh, he went down this. So then they bowled down this with pumpkins. He had to find the pumpkin and like throw it down. Um, this um, and, and and hit these bowling pins like this big slide. Then he did the slide, which is the cute part of the video. But all of this is like things that he struggles with. So he's very cautious. He's very nervous. She was saying he's okay doing things like this but he can't really cross his midline. And like, I don't notice this stuff. I'm just like a mom, I don't notice. So she's like, really work with him, like putting groceries away and like having to reach for them. So one of his goals is to like strengthen his core. So like, as solid as Cooper lo looks, a lot of these kids really struggle with low muscle tone. So like, he just doesn't have a lot of muscle. Um, and so, with that comes like low endurance like he gets fatigued he gets tired and it's it's, it's sad it's he, he shouldn't be like that he should just he should be like Sawyer and be able to do all these things and he has these challenges that not a lot of people understand right so we're working on it and then he like signed all done and then we came by this like corn pit she had like a pit like a kiddie pool full of uh dry corn and then she had things hidden in it so like he like dug in it, but he didn't like it. Like he didn't like the mess of it, the feel of it. So she, um, of course, didn't force it by any means, but like we encouraged him to like find a few rings. Um, yes, it's called Rainbow. Um, let me just see if I can just, sometimes I can't tag, sometimes I can. Oh, here, guys, I'm gonna tag it right now. So I just tagged her. So if you see that comment I just made, that's her. Um, I just did it. So then um, we walked, she walked us, they walked us back up to the vehicle or whatever. And here's the part that I just, I just want to share with you because it's so powerful. So we get in the vehicle and it took me like a second to like put the map into my phone or whatever and pull up where we were going because we were like 30 some minutes from home. And in that time, Cooper high fived me like five times. And I just, I just want to, I know this is going to just touch one mom or one dad or one grandparent. Cooper doesn't, um, Cooper doesn't, how do I word this? Like, watch Sawyer. Like, you should have self-pride and like, you should be proud of yourself, right? Like, he works so hard and he saw it today. Like, he saw it. Like, he like... High five me like five times. It was so wonderful. And I was like, did you like it? And he's like, yeah. Which is very, very strange in our world. Like typically everything's like he'll do it once and then he's done. Like he's good. And now it stays outside. We live in Minnesota, Wisconsin winters here. So he needs to get snow pants and boots and gloves and all stuff. And I was talking to her. I'm like, one of the hard parts with for Cooper is that boots are very heavy. Like they're very clunky. So we're gonna have to figure out boots where he can still move. And then I was like, he hates gloves. He hates them. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out like a way for him to have gloves and a hat and all that stuff. But these are good, these are good challenges. Like these are good things to overcome. And you know, and I, I'm really honest. This is a, you know, a really vulnerable statement. We don't always feel welcome a lot of places. You know, like I have a, Cooper's going to be a teen and um, he doesn't understand social norms and he gets frustrated and he, he can be loud and he can be defiant and all the parts that he's trying to navigate in this world. And sometimes over the years, we went to different therapy centers, and I'll be really honest, they didn't want our kind of autism there. And I'll tell you, there's nothing more devastating than when you are supposed to find your place and they don't want you there. And it's true, whether we want to believe it or not. So, this was not that place. It was so, I'm like giddy about it. I just, um, Oh, bog boots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should look at those. But like now, 
and here's the, the, the second part about it that I want to share. And just to compare and contrast, because I think that's, that's healthy, and just to give context. Like, Sawyer and Harbor and Winnie, I have three other children. I could think of like 50 things that we could do to go have fun. Like with Sawyer, we could go to a movie, we could go to the batting cage, we could go to Grand Slam, we could bowl, we could go, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, oh, thank you, M. Yes, please request my book from the library. It's a really big deal. Side note, shameless plug. If you request an author's book from the library, it's a big deal if they order it. So if any of you are library people and you just have five seconds on your hand, request my book. It's a really big deal for authors. But the other thing, back to what I was saying, is that so often I don't have a lot of things that I can do with Cooper. So we can go, um, there's a couple train places that we can go that he seems to like. There's one park that he tolerates. He's he would like to swim, but we don't have any place right now. We got to figure out a new place. He kind of likes the zoo. We go to speech every Thursday. But this was fun. This was fun. Like we had a really good time. Really good time. And I am going to send the lady an email and just uh, Lisa and just tell her like if I don't always know what my role is supposed to be, so I need as much teaching as Cooper. So like if I'm, like if I, if you want me to do something different, like tell me. And that comes from a place of like always having to be involved to get him to do anything. You know, like, you know, buddy, if we do this, we can go to the Polar Express. If we do this, we can, um, Jane, well, I was there. Oh, thank you for pre-ordering, Chris. Thank you. Um, I was there uh, mostly because, well, for a couple reasons. There's no place to go. It's in the middle of the country, and, um, and there's no place to go. So it's like not like there's no waiting room or anything, so there's no place to go. Um, and second, I don't think Cooper would quite be comfortable yet. Um, he wouldn't, be, wouldn't quite be comfortable yet. Um, it's not year round. We just signed up for 10 sessions. So we're going to do five every Monday and then take a break and then do five more. I don't know how he will tolerate the cold. Like when it's like zero. I don't know. I really don't know how, how he'll tolerate it. But we'll try. I know he likes snow. Um, he does like snow um, to eat. <laughs> Some of the weirdest comments I've ever gotten have been about Cooper eating, or my kids eating snow. We eat snow. <laughs> um, okay, two things now before I go. Yep, Carrie, horseback riding is done. And just because I know there's 600 of you watching, the um, soft cover of my book is, uh, I can't show it to you. The soft cover of my book is available for pre-order. It's the paperback version, and it's available on Amazon. It's called. It's still called Forever Boy. I can't show you. It's, I don't know why it's so bright, but um, it has a bonus chapter. So when it comes out in March, it has a like a 15, 16 page chapter about our family from diagnosis to today, and it talks all about Sawyer's relationship with Cooper, Harbor's relationship with Cooper. Um, some of the grief that we're going through, seeing autism through others' eyes. It's honestly my most favorite thing that I've ever written is this chapter. Not the whole book, this chapter. So um, I will share a link when we hop off. If you plan on reading it, I would be so thankful if you pre-ordered it. Um, I've been able to stay in the top like Amazon list for motherhood and it's kind of a big deal. So um, I will share a link for that and then Lastly, I really just want to do a plug for my support group. If you, it's online, it's on Facebook. I'll share a link for that too. It's called Coops Troops. Um, if you, let me, um, let me grab the book link right now while we're talking. I can just grab it. I'm like a multitasker of all. 
my whole Amazon wish thing wish list right now is full of things that Harbor wants. Harbor shops online. He wants um, a Bowser sweatshirt and a Donkey Kong sweatshirt. Um, Pre-order my book here. Okay, I just shared the Amazon um, link for the soft cover. And then secondly, I would love, love, love it if you came and joined my supporter group. So if you are looking, and I'm gonna continue to talk about this in every live I do, if you are, um, if you just feel a little lost in this world, whether you have a child with a disability, whether you're in the autism world, whether it doesn't matter what age your child is, what disability they have, it doesn't matter if they're high functioning, if they have more needs, it doesn't matter, verbal, not verbal. If you're looking for a community, um, I love my supporter group, it's online. But we do do in-person events too. So if I go someplace, we meet up. We just had a meetup in Illinois, in Chicago. Um, I'll be going to Maryland in the spring. I think Pittsburgh in the spring. So when I go places, we do meetups. And then if you live in Minnesota, we do a lot of meetups here too. And then lots of just Zooms and chats and a place to ask questions about medications and aggressions and all the things that we can't ask in the normal, in the normal world. Come join. Uh, there is a fee, and I do that just to keep it super safe. Um, I will put a link. Come try it for a month. It'll probably be your favorite place. Typically, those who join say it's their favorite place. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to hop off. I'll share a link for the supporter group when I'm done. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Have a great night. Bye-bye.